Hello everyone, this is Karst, and welcome to Baldur's Gate 3. Um, I was kind of tempted to actually re-roll my character at the beginning, um, because I suddenly realized that I, personally, love to play with high persuasion. And uh, I'm rolling a character class that has basically no persuasion with charisma checks. So I'm a little bit concerned about that. Um, I did look into it a little bit, and apparently you can use other party members to do the talking for you if necessary, so that might just have to be what I'm going to roll with. But I've already chosen my class, I've already chosen my, my race and everything, I'm going to lie in the bed I made, and um, I'll do my best to complete the game um, with what I've got, basically. I'm going to be doing some um, personal gameplay as well, like with a friend, you know on my own time. I, I can try the high persuasion stuff there. So yeah, let's uh, get on ahead then uh, without any further ado. I don't know what any of these are. Apparently I can just jump. Apparently that's a thing I can just do. And that's a bonus action. Cool. Alright. I can hide. That's health. Uh, else minds their business. I'll be fine. Okay, stealthing. I can throw things. Throw a character or item from the world or your inventory. Wait, I can throw people? Interesting. Uh, dash. Double my movement speed. One day I'll catch a break. Might still be stuck inside if we haven't been attacked. Disengage. Topple. Oh, nice. I like the animations on some of this stuff. That's cool. Very good. Uh, dip. Must be a dippable surface. Okay. There's a lot of stuff that I'm going to have to learn the mechanics for. Shove, I can push people away. Improvise melee weapon, <laughs> alright. Help. Down characters. Or remove various uh, negative um, status effects, so that's pretty good. And this is main hand attack, okay. And then I've got an addi additional attack, which is flurry of, uh, flurry of blows. Scroll of revivify. Cool. Is there a use like limit to this, or what? Alright, I don't really know what exactly I'm getting into, so... Why do I have this? I guess those are my... My camp clothing then, I guess? I don't know. Alright. Alt is the, what highlights the, the stuff on the screen, which is a little weird. I'm used to it being tab. Let's see what this does. Indeed, let's find out. Someone else got out. Home to center camera, double click on the portrait to center the camera, that's fine. Might be other survivors. Sounds like it. Oh, there's loot. Ruptured mind flare plot. Not everyone made it out alive. What, is there someone dead in this one? Oh yeah. Oh, they're super burned. Fascinating. Can I not loot this chest? Okay. Well, it's a good thing you can just click on things and let it navigate itself. Lucky I made it out. Yeah. Ooh, onyx. I'll take it. I'm sure it's valuable in some way, shape, or form. Visions project into your mind. A nautiloid hurtling through the plains, resplendent with psionic energy. Good to know. Thank you. Brine bulb. The hell is that? Can I attack it? Why does it have a health bar? Okay. Hiya! Restoration pods. You can use a restoration pod to fully recover your hit points and spell slots if you're hurt. Ow! What? Some items are unusually strong. You need to deal enough damage at once to actually damage them. Okay. So, I've lost a good portion of my health already. Because it's Caustic Brine. Hmm, good. Does this go away at any point, or did I screw myself? I think I screwed myself. Thank you. Yeah, wonderful. That's what I wanted. I wanted to lose, you know, most of my health by attacking a, a, a Brine Bulb. Alright. So, there's some regret there, I will admit. 
Some regret. Not sure if I really want to drink a potion of healing, but I may die in this first encounter now because I screwed myself. Uh, Jade? Okay, well, I'm sure that'll just be something I can sell. Dead. Restoration! Okay, Dead. nice, nice, nice. How am I restoring myself? Odd. I feel... better. It's interesting how it's all very... Uh, the Mind Flare stuff is very, uh, under Sphincter. Okay, great. It's very... Oceanic. Let's put it that way. A nursery? What is this? The pool that thing came from. The parasite now Ugh. writhing behind your eye. Let me investigate the pool. Skill check. Some dialogue options require a skill check. A dice roll that must meet or exceed its target number. Your character skills add a bonus to this skill. Click the dice to roll. Minus one intelligence. Well, I failed. Ow. You notice nothing more than meets the eye. Oh, I'm off to a great start. Reach towards the pool. This seems wise. Ow. Well, time to heal again. Alright, well, I can already tell this is going to be a great run because I have no idea what's going on and I've already blown myself up twice. I mean, at least I haven't died yet, so there's that going for me, I guess. There was another chest up here, wasn't there? Yeah. Girl of Witch Bolts. I'm really hoping I'm going to come across uh, party members who are good at... Um, charisma and lockpicking and everything like that. Sooner rather than later, please. Ugh. Illithid record. Don't mind if I do. Images of goblins, their habits and histories flash into your mind. Yeah. Who said that? Myrna, under operation. Oh my goodness, his brain! Yikes! Well, that's... Well, that's unpleasant. Uh, neural apparatus. Brain jar. Oh, good. Brain jars. I'm kind of like, what if I smash all these? A schematic of a nautiloid flashes into your mind. Nerves, sinews. As much living being as ship. I mean, yeah, I was saying, oh, everything looks, you know, like it's from the ocean. Well, it makes sense. They're not alloys. Everything is, you know, from the ocean, or at least themed around it. It's nautical. Uh, cerebral aquarium. Mind flare horticulture. Wonderful. A thousand oh. years of humanoid history. Elves, dwarves, humans, and more. Flash behind your eyes. Viscous, viscous chair. Can't do anything with it though. Odd things. Wonder what plane they're from. That's a good question that I cannot answer. Oh. Pentacle Aquarium. Hmm. Brains? Hmm. hmm. Alright, what the hell is this, Murnath? I do appreciate the full cutscenes in this game, actually. It wasn't quite as impressive in Divinity 2. Yes! You've come to save us from this place. From this place you'll free us! The exposed brain quivers in expectation. Please. Before they return! They return. Uh... You sound afraid. Why? The enemy. So many enemies. 
Who am I talking to? A man or a brain? A newborn. Born new from this husk. You realize you're talking to an intellect devourer. A minion of the mind flayers who abducted you. I also appreciate the detail here that the body is crying. That's kind of messed up. I think you're past the point of saving. Tell me what to do. So this is an intellect devourer. Remove us from this body. From this case. Free us. Please. Uh, let me inspect the exposed brain. Time to fail again. What? Ow. Critical fail. Apart from this strange context, you notice nothing unusual about the brain. Uh-huh. Nothing unusual. This seems very risky. So, let's take the brain out. I know this is probably not the way to go, but it's fine. I know this is trying to deceive me, but... Ugh. The brain lifts Ugh. from the skull. But you notice an opportunity. You could cripple the strange creature, making it more subservient, should it prove a threat. Your fingers twitch with the desire to rip its tender, moist meat to shreds. Oh, I'm assuming that's part of my dark urge thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna spare it. But what is it? And can it help me? Why is it twit- Oh, it's about to attack me. We are free. Our freedom is ours, friend. The creature pauses, listening. Something behind your eyes seizes in recognition. We must go to the helm. But the helm, we are needed. It's called us? So something behind my eye, that would be the, uh, the tadpole thing, right? What's mm. at the helm? The brain tenses, as though querying an unseen advisor. Do you not hear it? We will not survive here. We are needed to navigate. We are needed to leave this realm. What should I call you? Us. We are us. I don't know whether or not to trust this thing, because it's an you know an intelligence devourer or whatever, and it's also something that the uh, mind flayers were clearly working on. But at the same time, if we're in an unknown area of the ship, or of the planet, or an unknown plane. And this thing is needed at the helm of the ship in order to transport us between planes. This thing might be more useful alive than anything else. All right, let's go. We, go. we are going to the helm. I figure I can attack it or something if it turns on me later. Followers. Oh. Some allies can temporarily join you. You can directly control their movement and actions. Click on a fo follower's portrait to take control of them. This is disturbing in many, many ways. Also, this brain is massive. What the hell? Yeah, the brain is huge compared to the body now. No one stopped me yet. Can I loot him? Nope. Here goes nothing. All right, back down we go. Bye, newborn. I'm sure he'll find his way around. What is this then? Doesn't do anything. All right. All right, time to go. We're still flying, aren't we? Fascinating. Oh, hey, it's what's her name? Past. A dragon's wing, a silver sword. 
and a flash of your face seen through the strange woman's eyes. Oh, we're linked together because of the tadpoles, huh? All right. Uh, what made you think I was a thrall? We carry mind flayer parasites. Unless we escape, unless we are cleansed, our bodies and minds will be tainted and twisted. True. Within days, we will be geek. Mind flayers. Uh. Who are you? Who am I? Your only chance of survival. Uh, we're turning into mind flares. There must be something we can do. We can do nothing until we escape. That must be our priority. Probably true. One thing at a time. First, we exterminate the imps. Then we find the helm and take control of the ship. I really like her armor. It's really cool. It will remain tame as long as it believes we are thralls. It may be of use in the fight to come. Agreed. I didn't get to choose the other options, though. That's unfortunate. Combat! General combat! Get ready to fight! Combat appear uh, happens in rounds, and each participant gets a turn effect. Oh, sorry, a turn to act. The game pauses around you during combat, so you have time to plan your actions. Fascinating and wonderful. Okay. Uh, so I have first turn or uh, priority. During your turn, you can move, take an action, and take a bonus action. Show your actions, show your bonus action. So I could technically jump or something, right? Or I could throw something. What's that? Incinerated Mind Flayer. Lovely. Bonus action, secondary resource, and key points. To punch things. Got it. Obviously, this is nothing in range. Oh, this will work. Think Do it. Can take me on. Ooh, is that a crit? Too far away, or no? I got it. Awesome. Uh, there's one more over here. Okay, that's fine. I don't think I can do anything else. So I have to end my turn. Uh, jump at it. I mean, you may as well just go and attack, it's fine. I like how she didn't have to do anything. Sure. Ooh, a crossbow. I'll take it. A, a skimmy... Potion of healing. A void bulb. Throw this alien bulb at a target and possibly pull in nearby objects and creatures. The numerous suction cups on this ball expand and constrict rhythmic, uh, rhythmically, as if breathing. They latch onto anything they can get a hold of. Interesting. Why are you not considered empty? Hmm. And a hand axe. What's my damage right now with all this stuff? Uh, this is 4 to 11, also 4 to 11, with the light crossbow. Sure. Yeah, that makes sense. Range of melee attacks. You can switch between holding your ranger melee weapons. You can find the buttons on your hotbar. F to toggle the weapon set. Okay. Because I'm proficient with both right now, is my understanding. And, and apparently I can't look at... Oh no, there you go. So our inventories are different. 4 to 9, 4 to 13. This is way better. Okay. Her charisma is even worse than mine, so we're off to a great start. How much further can I go? I don't know. We'll find out together, won't we? Another crossbow. That's fine. I think for the next fight, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the crossbow. See how that goes, and then uh, I'll let uh, what's her name? I keep forgetting. Lazel uh, do the fighting, do the melee fighting. I mean. I suppose that's true. Yep, definitely brains. Brains everywhere. Or coral, I guess. I'll take that.
I will be selling all of these. Simple robe or monastic robes. Uh, so, the crafted with care, this robe will protect you from the elements. It won't do much against a sword thrust, though. And then the monastic robe is the same same armor class. This garment's pristine condition, despite years of martial training, speaks to a supremely disciplined owner. Well, let's see what I prefer in terms of outfitting, then. What looks better? That doesn't look terrible. I know this, that, that's a traditional look, but, you know, this is not bad. And it gives me the same level of armor anyway, so I'm just going to wear this for a while. Just quickly double-checking. Map. This is the map of your surroundings. You can view the quest locations and place custom markers. You can also teleport to waypoints you have discovered by discovering them. Alright, that's fine. Fire hot. Maybe don't run into it. Did we come down from out here? Oh yeah, we did. Okay. So I guess we're climbing this thing then. The arterial mesh. Lovely. Alright. Through the sphincter. An autosave means that we're probably about to run into a boss or something. Hello. Oh. Sacrifice cultists. Lovely. Touch nothing without knowing its purpose. You've got a good point. We probably shouldn't just touch random shit. Uh, I can shoot the nautiloid tank. Mysterious liquid. Well, that doesn't seem good. I wish I didn't do that because that person's stuck in there. The man isn't dead, but he's totally unresponsive. Oh, good. You're one step from oblivion, stupor yourself, still wading through your empty skull to think a single thought. All right, mysterious fluid. Hey, it's the cleric. We have no time for stragglers. I will make time for her. Let's look for a latch. The construction is too alien. Nothing looks familiar. This ship is crashing. Do you intend to die for a stranger? But she's gonna be our healer. Drow. You might as well be trapped in demon webs. There's no helping her. No way am I gonna leave the cleric to die. I'll look around. There must be some way to get this thing open. Next to the pod. They did something to it when they sealed me in. Okay. Hurry, Working on it. Ooh, nice. You see multiple inventories. Cool. I like how she has this full armor and she only has 16 AC versus my 15 armor class. Uh, but Ionic energy radiates from the prisoners, but they do not react. Okay, maybe let's not touch that then. What I do? Whoopsie. I wish I could go and punch him, but it's fine. I'll wait. Get over here. Oh! Die, please. That's not dying, sir. Have you considered being punched? Situational actions. You have unlocked an action as a result of another ability, feature, or condition. It will remain at the side of your hotbar until those conditions expire. Sure. A quill. Okay, wonderful. I assume I can sell that. Ooh, a backpack. I want it. Can I not have the backpack? Oh, I guess I could touch that. The console appears dormant. Look for a switch or release. The mechanisms are completely unrecognizable at first, but then you spy an empty socket. 
Hit it. Nothing. The console remains dormant. <laughs> that was such a weak hit, I just randomly kicked it. Alright. I'll be back. Whatever fits in that socket must power this thing. Indeed. What does this button do then? No idea. How am I gonna save her? Not sure. Dark mind, burmish necklace, more sphincters, elaborate reliquary. What's a dark mind? Alright. Can I not click on this? Images appear in your mind. A brain, a Gip Yankee warrior, and centuries of darkness. I'll take the necklace. I cannot unlock you! Uh, this doesn't give me anything. Alright. How am I gonna get her out? I picked up a brain in a jar. Will that do it? The console appears. Do the mechanisms are completely unrecognized. No. Alright. Uh. Hmm. Well, I don't actually want to accidentally leave the area or anything. I assume I'm gonna have to explore a bit more before I can get her out. That's a good question. A dazed woman is trapped inside the pod. She doesn't notice you. Okay. Slave mind and a cartilaginous chest again. Another brain. Bronze ring. I don't think they have any uh, magical properties. Next to the pod. Oh, okay. Well, that's convenient. Was this? As you place your hand on the pod, you hear something. A presence connected to the pod, commanding the person inside to change. Well, that doesn't sound good at all, sir. Or ma'am. Regret! Oh, it's gonna be a mind flare now, isn't it? Well, that was unfortunate. Is this to be our fate? I also hear a brain moving around. The hell is this and why is it running away from me? Should I have pushed the button? Probably not. The newborn mind flayer stares at you, weak and dazed. I can't do anything with it though, can I? The Ceramorph is level 8 and 92, uh... Uh, has 92 health, so uh, I am nowhere near ready to fight that thing. Hello. You are beautiful. Well, thank you. Golden key. Inventory containers. Yep. That's probably this thing. I'll take it all. Alright, let's get her out of there. console appears dormant. Insert the rune. The console hums to life. But what is its purpose? Will it free the captive or transform her like that other unfortunate? That's a good question. Uh, Arcana, take a closer look at the powered up console. I'm about to fail another roll. Oh boy. Always with the intelligence checks. Okay. That'll do. Continue. The pulsing glow and organic lines of the device make it seem more like a beating heart than a machine. This device is different from the one that caused the other captive to transform. Perhaps it will open the nearby pod. Do it. Suddenly, you feel a hideous squirming in your head. A parasite. Oh, that's a face. Sensation washes over you. Connection. Authority. Illithid wisdom. Will the pod to open. Or I can ignore the sensation. Okay. 
Okay, let's try that again and actually let her out. <laughs> the console hums steadily. Suddenly, then discomfort fades. All right, will the pot to open? Sensation washes over you. Go. Connection. Authority. Nice. You feel the biomechanical brain of the console process your command and yield to it. A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated. I like how we just let her kind of plop into the mysterious fluid. At last. Thought I was done for. Don't worry, I'm here. I need a I need a cleric in my party. Oh, great. She's prejudiced. Wonderful. Uh, did you feel that just now? We were in each other's heads. I did. It must be because of those parasites they put in us. They'll have to wait. We need to get off this ship alive first. Let me come with you. We can get off this ship and watch each other's backs along the way. Alright then, let's get going. I'm Karst. Shadowheart. One moment. Oh, that's the artifact we heard about in her character uh, bio. I kind of wish I went for the other um, the other dialogue choices. I don't actually know if I'm getting cut off or if I can only choose one at a time. Uh, what's that? It's nothing. Trust me. Enough of this chatter. We need to get to the helm now. She's right. Lead on. Sounds good. Uh. So the helm is in this direction. We came in from here, I'm fairly sure. Yep. And then there's nothing else over here, so I can only head south. I'm gonna do a quick save and move onward. Fire hot. Uh, what exactly am I doing? I guess I'm going through another sphincter. We are nearing the helm. Once inside, do as I say. Who put you in charge? I'll trust my own judgment. Kenyank. Uh, okay. I assume you know what you're doing. You'll know more than me. Oh, wow. Oh, that doesn't seem good. Oh, no, he's gonna eat his brains. Oh, he's eating his brains. Ah, so it's Hellspawn versus Mind Flayers. Got it. Draw. Connect the nerves of the Transponder. We must escape. Now. Do it. We will deal with the Geek after we escape. Connect the nerves. Nerves. We will connect them. Alright, that's fine. Uh. Man, some of these animations are actually really cool. I'm all for it. Also, I cannot move that far, so I should probably worry more about the lesser Hellsbore or the lesser Zimp. Uh, I could do a ranged attack. Do I get one shot only? Go punch it! Fire hot. That's fine. I'll live with it. I just realized that she has a shield. Huh. Alright, oh, she's a cleric. That makes sense. Okay. Um. How far can you jump with this? Not enough movement to get over there. So she's got a pummel, pummel strike that can daze. Rush attack. That's out of range. Ranged attack. She has a ranged attack? Interesting. Hamstring shot. 
Reduce their root movement speed, lacerate, bleed. Okay. Okay, sure. Um, I didn't realize you got a range attack. Go. Oh, I guess that makes sense. She has a um. She has a, a bow. Okay. Can you switch back to your main sword, main hand? Thank you. Go, sacrificial wep uh thing. Nice. Oh, it just flies around with a with a crossbow. All right. Ah, I dodged it. Uh, what do you have? Fire bolts. Concussive smash. And a main hand attack. But she also has... Various spells. Okay. She can heal, inflict wounds. Ooh. Guidance. One d4 bonus to ability checks. Interesting. Uh, stealth checks and disguise stealth or disguise self. Sure, but I think you're good with just a fireball, right? Go. Nice. Got to press on. Okay, um... Very good. I can keep shooting him from here, yes? Yeah, we just have to take him out. Oh, he's got 195 health. That does not seem good. We have to make it to this thing, yes? Okay. I don't think I can take him out. He's level 8. They're both level 8. We might want to loot, actually. Yeah, we might want to consider looting. I'm just going to send this thing up. to looting. Don't mind me. Time to strike. Nope. Maybe putting it right next to this was a bad idea. Go, 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 go. My faith will protect me. Let's Hopefully it'll be enough. <laughs> okay, he's done. Now I'm screwed. If this ship hits the ground, we're dead. This does not seem good. I should dip out. Ha! Victory awaits. <laughs> I'm literally just trying my best to get out of here. Uh, do another boost. Get over there. This cream activate Oops. the transponder. Okay, but what is it supposed to do? What's the goal here, then? I guess I have to do it. Oh, that's bad. I put myself out of the way. Well. Game's over, boys. Ow. Wonderful. I have screwed myself. Well done. Just go. Just do your thing. I can't do anything with this character. 
I would help me, but this does not seem like it's gonna do much. Uh, help! On your feet. We are so many levels of screwed. Let's back off. Never a dull moment. Go away. Okay. Another step forward. Ow. Come a little closer. Oh boy. Ignore the devil. We must take the transponder. Yeah, I'm working on it. Not enough movement. Very screwed. Uh. Oh, come on. Just keep going. I think it's time to load. Alright. It's fine. It's just, this is what I get for not knowing exactly what I was doing. Curse to put my hands on everything. Alright. Go! Go! Okay. Fine. Okay, you do no physical damage, that's fine. Fury. I am death. No time to waste. Uh shoot her. Nice. Oh good, it finally got mind blasted. Critical miss. I cannot go that far. But I can shoot you. Miss. Oh great. Something good here, I hope. Here's hoping. You can run up as well. I think it's a good idea for you to dash. Okay. Not a lot tank uh not to Lloyd tank doesn't seem like a good idea. I can jump. Doesn't seem to really give me any additional movement, which is fine. Nice. Uh I think I'm actually gonna dash. Yeah, I'm gonna dash on this occasion and just head straight towards the transponder. Okay. Let me loot. Nothing. Disappointed! Okay. Nice. Keep going. I don't have that much time left. Keep defending each other. What is this? Scroll of Detect Thoughts. Interesting, but it would be a waste, wouldn't it? Alright, let's get some dash in here, push up. If this ship 
hits the ground with dead. All right, smack it. Nice. Not enough movement. That's fine. Uh, you push up as well. Okay, we're done after two turns. I think it's time for you to dash and keep moving. Heading there. Forward, Istik. Nice. Ow. Uh, smack it. Oh, very good. My path be true. Second win. I can heal myself. Or sorry, she can heal herself. Pommel strike. Nice. Is that considered like a stun or something? I don't know. Oh good. I'm about to die, so I should probably kill it. So that I don't die. Seems simple and get it. Alright, I think we're clear. Nice. The Helm's alien transponder. You made it in time. I hope this is your mount. Oh. Ow. I hope the others are doing okay in all this. Oh, that was a face I made at the end there. It was a little awkward, but it's fine. I have no idea where we've ended up. I guess we're about to find out. Someone's watching us? Oh, hello. I assume those are goblins. Oh, hey. Ow. I love how we were just kind of awkwardly staring at each other. That was pretty good. Oh, thank you, whoever did that. Ow. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you for saving my life, whoever it was. At some point, I'm going to get to clean this, uh, clean this blood off, right? I hope. Expected your memories to return once you were free of the Mind Flayer ship. But your past is still an aching void. If you don't find a way to remove the tadpole burrowed in your brain soon, your future will be as blank as your past. Your head whispers vengeance. You cannot wait to slice your way forth, seeking whatever wrought this tragedy upon you. Journal updated. Find a cure. Escape the Nautiloid. Okay. Time to press ahead. You say ahead, but I think move back. Okay, maybe I can't. 
Maybe I'm pretty limited in what I can do right now. Fair enough. Mangled Fisher. Fascinating. I notice all my... Uh... Drink in the pungent corpse. Since you awoke on the ship, your mind has been cold and empty. But something stirs. With your hands close to this body, you know nothing of why, but you find a half-smile flittering across your face. I was gonna say, um, I notice all my temporary companions are gone. I'm also noticing that the blood has mysteriously disappeared. Alright, uh, let's try- it's another intelligence check. Try to remember the last time you stood above a corpse. Time to fail! I mean, the last time was not that long ago, it was right before we crash landed, but okay. As soon as you delve into your mind, it is filled with flashes of a thousand different dead. There is something unknown and unspeakable deep within your heart. Wonderful. That's me with my dark, my dark urges. Well, there's Shadow Heart. I'm kind of like, what would happen if I just walked past and then never talked to any of these companions again? I'm sure they'll find some way to turn up. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was still in the cutscene. I didn't realize there was something for me to do here. Uh, let me wake her. Uh, I was hoping you might know that. I remember the ship. I remember falling. The nothing. Uh. Do you have any idea where we are? No. I don't recognize this place. But anything's an improvement on where we just came from. First things first. We need supplies, shelter, and most of all, a healer. We might have escaped, but we still have these little monsters in our heads. Is there nothing else I can say? Ah. Uh, what happened to our gift friend? You might want to reconsider calling her a friend. Looks like she ran off without us. Uh, you want to stay together, I take it? We need each other. And we both know what's at stake. Can't think of better company. Alright, let's get moving. One thing. Just before we go, I wanted to thank you again for freeing me. It would have been all too easy for you Shadow to Heart right approves. Past my pod, but you didn't. I'll remember that. Lead the way. Okay, I assume then if you didn't save her, she would have crash landed here anyway, is my thought. Uh, okay, so personal quest is the urge. Be yourself, think dirty thoughts. Special, yeah, special, aren't you? Shh, don't fight it. You know what you need to do. Take out that knife. Do what you do best. Easy as breathing. You'll feel better after. Uh, find a quest. Sorry, find a cure. Find a way to remove the Mind Flare Parasite. We've escaped the hells on the Nautiloid and crashed somewhere back in the Material Plane. We need to explore the area and find a healer. Daughter of Darkness. We recruited a half-elf named Shadowheart. She was also aboard the Nautiloid and infected with a parasite. So this is all done, this is all done. Okay, sure. Can I talk to her now that she's in my inventory my inventory in my party? Something the matter. Oh yeah. Uh what's the story with that odd little artifact of yours? There's no story. None that you're entitled to hear anyway. At least not Just yet. Forget you ever saw it. Um my memories are all gone. Is your tadpole playing tricks on yours? I understand why you ask, but Memory loss is not as uncommon as you'd think. Yeah, because I know she's losing. There she lost hers as well. Other causes. Um, I yearn to kill. I only feel like myself when I'm killing. Dark urge. Interesting. You're hardly alone. Bloodletting is quite popular of late. Though your twinge of conscience sets you apart from the brigands, monsters, and kill happy fiends of the world. Whatever you think may be compelling you, 
You may have greater ability to resist it than you realize. Everyone has unseemly thoughts. Being able to quieten them is what sets us apart from the beasts. Very true. Thank you for those uh, words of encouragement there. Uh, what do you think of all that's happened to us so far? We haven't gone all that far yet. That's true. What are you referring to exactly? You must have thoughts about our little stowaways. Must I? Thinking about it won't help. We know what to do, so let's do it. Find a way to rid ourselves of these things. We've no solid leads right now, though. We'd best get hunting. If you discover anything that might help us, I'm all ears. Uh, you mean we're all ears? Um... I mean, we've literally just met each other, which is why she's like, What do you mean, you know, all that's happened to us? Nothing's happened to us. Uh, so what will you do if we actually manage to remove the tadpoles? I don't think she knows me well enough to tell me her plans. I suppose we'd go our separate ways. Not a slight on your company, of course. Uh... No reason for us not to stay together if we get on well. Perhaps. Perhaps not. If we do survive, we'll have separate lives to return to. I need to get to Boulder's Gate. There's someone waiting for me there. Someone I have to reach. As soon as possible. That updated my journal. Uh, a family, a friend, a lover. Probably a religious thing. Let's just say it's a very personal, very private acquaintance. How am I holding up in your estimations? What estimations? You just met me. I must admit, you've been a surprise. And not an unpleasant one. Kindred spirits are few and far between for me. Besides, you saved my life aboard the Nautiloid. How can I do anything but sing your praises? Nice that she references that. I assume that she's going to be referencing a bunch of stuff uh, as the game progresses. I kind of like that she kind of uh, she went with, oh, a surprise to be sure, but a welcome one. <laughs> All right. Um, we should get to know each other a little more. I'm not trying to romance her like this. I'm just trying to see if maybe we can be fr come friends. Must we? No harm in a little mystery, don't you think? At least for now. You don't want to talk about yourself? I should hope not. Have you ever heard the people who want to talk about themselves? I'm doing you a favor. True, fair. Uh, maybe I'd like to get you, uh, get to know you better. Sweet of you, but don't worry. I'm sure you'll get to know me just fine by traveling together. No need for interrogations just yet. Fair enough. If that's what you prefer, I can respect that. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna push her on that. Thank you. Oh, I'm approval. Sure we'll get nice. Along perfectly well. Uh, okay. Nice. We got some approval points for it, which is good. I'm sure we're gonna run into the girl whose name I never remember. Sooner or later. Something good here, I hope. Yep. Potion of healing. Ignoble hat. Okay, but it's not actually gonna give me any skills, right? Item context menu. Each item has a context menu where you can use them, tag them as wares, or send them to another party member. Right mouse button. Interesting. Okay. Didn't I pick up a piece of armor? Or did that end up with uh, what's her name? I think that ended up with what's her name. Which is unfortunate. Yeah, and she has nothing. 13, 10... I know some of my monk skills give me bonus um, experience, I guess. Shadow Hearts underwear. Okay. Uh, alright. I'm gonna... Uh, I'm gonna avoid the uh, temptation, but I've already got nudity off, so it is what it is, but, you know. Um, thank you. Suspension of Burgrass. Uh, what? Is it under alchemy? Grenades, coating, sublimates, salts, essences, suspensions. Touching a little of the substance to your lips, you begin to hear muffled pulses of sound, daubs of thoughts belonging to those nearby. Interesting. Okay. So I can kind of hear what people are thinking. That'll help in persuasion and intimidation, I'm sure. Thank you. Shanties for the bitch queen. Hmm. Perfume letter. 
Sai, I love you. There, I said it. And if you meet me together tomorrow, I'll say it again. And again. And keep on saying it till we're old and gray. So let's do it. Let's go to Baldur's Gate. I know it's risky, but so staying here. The last few months have been hard, but they're always a little easier when you're there. Leave your boat and meet me at the hill overlooking the old bridge. Bring whatever you can carry. We'll make do without the rest. Don't be late. Love, Anna. Uh, I to open the inventory and then double click a book to read it. Book it a fish. Ooh. Camp supplies. Be sure to collect food and drinks. You will need them to restore your health and resources when taking a long rest. Okay, so this is going to be implemented a little bit differently from uh, how Divinity Fresh went. Fresh water. Good. There must be a settlement somewhere nearby. Shanties for the Bitch Queen. And we all row with the spray upon our necks. And we all row with the spray upon our backs. And we all row with the sea beneath our feet. And the Bitch Queen stays the storm. Is that the name of your boat? Wave mother, wave mother, lash us to the prow. Wave mother, wave mother, we ask to sail your skirt if you allow. Wave mother, wave mother, sink us if you will. Wave mother, wave mother, our skulls are yours with brine and sand to fill. Souls away and anchor still. The wind won't move without the bitch queen's will. We'll wait gladly years and days until the bitch queen brings the waves. Hey ho, she told us so. Hey ho, she told us so. Okay, so it's a song of some sort. Can I jump in the water? Would that be bad? Hiya! No, we're okay. Okay. Hmm. More dead fishers and intellect devourers. Murgrass. I do want more murgrass. I'll take that. Yes, I will. Thank you, Belladonna. I assume I'm going to get another recipe from that, too. Waypoint discovered. Oh, the overgrown ruins. Oh, that's a... Is that an ancient... Is that the waypoint? This thing here? Waypoints. You've discovered a waypoint. You'll be able to teleport to this location by selecting it on your map. Ancient Sigil Circle. Yes, that is the waypoint. Got it. Dagger Root and Murgrass. So I guess that looks like a... It looks like a dungeon of some sort. Okay. I probably won't be messing around with alchemy too much. It looks like this requires a key, which I definitely don't have. Get that open Maybe there's another entrance. Maybe. Um. Belladonna supplement. In this transmogrified state, Belladonna loses its toxic properties, gaining instead an in engrossing perception-enhancing characteristic. Interesting, alright. Ashes, Dagger Root. Often fed with the blood of the fallen, Dagger Root is, helped, is said to help create new victims, a property that only intensifies once the plant has been dried and burned. Okay. So basically, these will be things that will help me with uh, skill checks, I assume. Hello? Give me the Belladonna, please. Thank you. Uh, intellect devourers that are almost oh, dead. But they're not attacking me, they're just running. Fair enough. Hmm. Why the music choice? What happened? All right, back inside. Uh oh. Better stay back. One strike could be lethal. Uh, where is it? That thing? It's so far away. Shoot it. Very good. And I'll back off a bit. Ow. They have range attacks! That's not good. Yeah, this is not great. Uh... Hmm. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I think I should heal. 
That doesn't heal much, does it? It's quite far. Only a 50% chance to hit. That's pretty low. Firebolt! That doesn't kill it. I'm kind of like, maybe I should have drank a health potion. See, my main problem right now is... I'm about to die. That is a problem, yes. I should probably finish this off. Yeah. And then... I, can I drink this? I can, okay. It's for the best I drink it. Swift as my Move feet up. Can carry me. Nice. Not great. Uh, okay, attack of opportunity on me if I if he swings at me. That's fine. Go for it. Move up. Nice. Okay, now I can go and help her. Wait, it's still alive. Help her! Alright. Take a short rest to recover half your hit points and some other resources. How do I do a short rest? Short rest. Yes. Okay, that'll do. Can I do it more than once? Can I spam it? You can only do two. Twice a day only. Okay. Alright, that's fine. I guess I should have leveled up. I'm sitting on level... <laughs> I'm sitting on level up points that pr I probably should have gotten. Fire hot? Probably. But these things never actually drop loot. Something the matter? No, no, we're good. Yeah, that would have been a lot easier if I, you know, actually used my level up points and, you know, didn't have only 10 health. Abducted nobleman, he's gonna have money on him. You've stepped in a surface that could become dangerous if affected by elements like fire or lightning. Most surfaces like this can be washed away with water. Ooh, a rapier! I am actually supposed to be good with rapiers. That might be better than the staff I'm using. Because it's giving me a bunch of additional attacks I could have. Like piercing! Ooh, gaping wounds. Flourish, throw them off balance. Inflict weak grip and piercing strikes. All right, that all seems good. So now I'm a I'm a duelist of some sort. Okay, I'm down for it. Can I get up here? Please. Yeah, please, no traps. I don't have any rogues to deal with it. Diluted oil of sharpness. Coat your weapon in oil. Gains a plus one damage to attack and damage rolls, and overcomes a resistance to non-magical damage. Single use. Okay. Oh, okay, that's good. Okay, this is interesting. So I can actually do this and kind of update my UI, which is helpful. Spike bulb, making all nearby creatures bleed. Okay, and then we've got the the or the void old bulb or whatever, the gravity well, more or less. All right. Where am I right now? I have to go in there. This will take me quite a distance. Okay. Let's explore the rest of the ship. Although it does look somewhat familiar. I like that we can climb, like small surfaces. It's, that's quite nice. Potion of speed. Caustic bulb. The slime covered bulb will. Oh, cover it in acid, basically. Skull! Well, that's a thing. Skulls are, in fact, a thing. Would this hurt me if I walk through it? Nope. A 
Anything else around here or what? Footprints. There may be even more that survived the crash. Yeah, but they could be thralls. That's a portal. I don't know what the hell that is. Is that a approach the sigil on the stone? Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically, as if malfunctioning. It looks slightly dangerous. Touch it! That seems unwise. I would never touch it myself. Look at that angry face. That's good. Is something gonna come through it? Oh. A hand? Anyone? Sure, why not? You're a companion. Slap the hand. <laughs> uh, fantasize about hacking off the hand. Would that be a? Would that be a blood? Sorry. Would that be a dark urges thing? Uh, slap the hand. Ow. <laughs> Perhaps I should have clarified. Hmm? Helping and. <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, who are you? Just your average traveler stuck between realms. Pull me out, and we'll get properly introduced. You're not gonna get, like, cut in half or anything if I fail, right? Roll! Add a bonus, how? Guidance? I don't think that's necessary on this occasion, so I'm gonna not do that right now. Alright. Hello there. Oh. Hello. I'm Gale of Waterdeep. Apologies. I'm usually better at this. Um. No need to apologize. Are you all right? A bit shocked, but friend. It's a relief and a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Say, but I know you, don't I? In a manner of speaking. You were on the Nausloid as well. As well? Ha, <laughs> draw my weapon. Um, I was, yes. And I can only assume you too were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome insertion in the ocular region. Correct. I'm actually really appreciating the level of detail on the weave on the outfits. That's kind of cool to see. Uh, I couldn't have phrased it more repellently myself. No you sugarcoating it, is there? The insertee we speak of, this parasite, are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it will turn us into mind flayers? It's a process known as ceramorphosis, and let me assure you, it is to be avoided. You don't happen to be a cleric by any chance, do you? A doctor? Surgeon? Uncannily adroit with a knitting needle. Nice. I'm not a cleric, but this the girl is. To realize it's beyond most cleric skills. Most, no doubt. But I find myself hoping to be in the presence of the few. You don't happen to be one of them. Uh, I was going to ask you the same thing. And it looks like we're both starved for answers. We're most certainly going to need a healer, and soon too. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more and look for a healer together? I'm open to the idea. Uh, sounds like a plan. You're welcome to join me. Most excellent. A parasite shared is a parasite halved. Or something to that effect. Sure, let's go with that. But before you think you're about to embark on a journey with most ill-mannered a man, thank you for pulling me out of that stone. You're welcome. It's an act of foresighted kindness, I assure you. I have the feeling ample opportunities will present themselves for me to return the favor. Here's hoping. Haunted one. Subdue thine appetites. I'm inspired, apparently. Party line. Your party is shown on the side of your screen. Portraits show your character's health and conditions. 
I'm not splitting the party, there's no purpose to it. Okay, what the hell is inspiration? When a character performs an action that's true to their background, they gain experience, points, and receive inspiration. Inspiration can be spent to re-roll an ability check. Okay. You can have a maximum of four inspiration if you are at your maximum inspiration. Completing background goals only grants experience. Soldier. Yep. So I'm the haunted one. Um, and I got an inspiration because I slapped his hand. Oh, no, 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 no. It's because I resisted the dark urge. Okay, cool. Good, so resisting it is good enough to get the points as well. Good, that's like, I like that. And then you can check the various times and the dialogue trees. Good, good. Nice. Daughter of Darkness, uh, we know that she's looking to get to Baldur's Gate for her goddess, apparently, which we did not learn in the conversation, but we apparently just know about. And the Wizard of Waterdeep, a wizard named Gale, joined the party. He claims to have been on the Nautiloid, which means he's infected too. Well, I didn't see him on the Nautiloid, but sure, why not? So now we have fast travel points. Very good. Um, I kind of want to go back down and check out like the western portion of the map. I do also know that there are some dead goblins up ahead over here, which I should probably take a look at as well. Uh, I may also want to upgrade or level up... Um, oh, 40 camp supplies. Wow. Um, I may want to consider... Goblin Simi. Um, I keep distracting myself. Leveling up if I see more enemies up ahead, basically. Because I don't want to get myself screwed. He's a caster, right? Wizard. Okay. Uh... What was I going to check? Piercing shot. Ooh. Okay. There is work to do. You don't even have a ranged weapon right now, so you may as well equip one, right? Why is your approval dropping? Neutral. Ah, excellent choice. I guess they probably start on the lower end because I gained approval points with her, so it's probably moving up. I hope. Hi, half-elf, human, and I'm a Seldarine Drow. Okay. Common cleric. Da, 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 da. Let me open up the full inventory screen, because I'm hoarding everything on myself at the moment. I should probably give her a ranged weapon. Better to have something than nothing. Zero to seven damage? Really? Are you not better with this quarterstaff? Or is it the same deal? It's the same deal. He just doesn't have any strength or anything. Um, two to seven, two to nine. I don't know if she's proficient with it or not, though. That's the problem. I guess I should check by looking at her character sheet. Yeah. Uh, proficiency bonus, simple weapons, crossbows, light crossbows count as a simple weapon, right? Yeah, alright. Sure, that's fine. What about you? You are also simple weapons, but... Okay, light crossbows does fall under this list. Good, I thought I had another one, though. Did I not? What are you actually good at? Daggers, quarterstaff, spears. And glaze halberds and pikes. Okay, so that's not, not stellar. I thought I had more crossbows, but maybe they're on um, the warrior who is not currently chilling with us. Fair enough. This Another way. quick save. Alright. Oops. I'm surprised that's not lootable. What's up here? I'm getting so distracted. Why? What, what just happened? Fire hot? Yes, fire hot. Everyone else jumped across. Have a lot on my mind. And well. I'm an hmm. idiot. How many times can you use an evoca evocation spell exactly? I have to do a long rest now. Okay. Interesting. Let's get going. At the ready. 
So I should have just jumped over the fire, is what you're telling me. I'll keep that in mind. A mind flare. And it's hurt. That thing's bound to be dangerous, even if injured. Best be careful. Yeah. Do I really want to be near it? Debatable. You approach the dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. You could end its life here and now, if only you didn't feel compassion. Compassion. Well, it's controlling me with that stuff, isn't it? No, you should be furious, shouldn't you? Yes, you feel hate. And you deserve to be punished for it. You should be whipped, made to bow before this creature in shame. That's just the parasite talking, it's not me. possessing your mind, forcing you to love it. But then the feeling slips. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. Intelligence, concentrate on its thoughts. Another intelligence roll. Guide me. Oh, this is bad. Nope. Roll again with inspiration. Do it. Okay, that's that's good. And there goes my inspiration point. Your mind's views, lusting for something that is gone. But then its grip claws back with a vengeance, a vice locking your mind into obedience. It needs sustenance to survive, and with your very body, you can provide. Uh, you are not eating my brain. Wisdom. Wisdom. Resist the intrusion. Oh, I've got plus two wisdom, and it's a low, a, a roll, low roll. I wonder if I accept it and go in for a kiss if I'll just die immediately. That'd be quite funny. But no, I'm not stupid enough for that. The monster lies exhausted, defeated. Its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate malice. Leaving it to die slowly would be... would be more cruel, so let's close them forever. Monster. Death is too good for it. Uh... Fresh kindle for the fire. Leave the pinned Benrin to burn. What's Benrin? What? Well, I don't know what that's about. Uh, but okay. You're not first in magic, are you? Well, that's an observation. Uh, I'm not. Why do you ask? I also clicked on you by accident, but sure, I'm glad to have this conversation. <laughs> I like that Shadow Heart's just there, looking over my shoulder in the back. Um, I'm not. No matter to worry the unlettered over. If you meet any elder wizards, let me know. There is a matter I'd like to seek advice on from a master. Okay, good to know. What's on your mind? Tell me a bit more about yourself. Let's see. I hail from Waterdeep, City of Splendors. I am a wizard of considerable acclaim and scholar of exceptional accomplishment. Good to know. I have a cat, a library, and a weakness for a good glass of wine. And if the mood takes me, I'm known to try my hand at poetry. There. Don't stop there. Uh, I want to know more about your hobbies. Can't you tell me something about the real you? Certainly. That I have a great respect for privacy, for instance, especially my own. Fair enough. Wisdom, pure into his mind. I don't think he's gonna like that. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna like that. Uh, my memories before the Nautiloid are shrouded in darkness. Memory loss isn't usually a symptom of seromorphosis. If it is, they've forgotten to write it down in any text I've read on the subject. Then again, our case isn't exactly usual. 
perhaps whatever's causing our tadpoles to remain in stasis has also affected your mind. If ceramorphosis takes place, all trace of your former self will be subsumed into the Mind Flayer's hive. So, to still be here, if I might forgetful, still a win in my book. Okay. Uh, I have violent thoughts, depraved thoughts, ones that refuse to go away. We all have those from time to time. I once wished a most impure demise on a colleague of mine who bore the last remaining copy of Etheril's Enchiridion of Enchanting Easements. It's a first edition, too. As regards to your own morbid little fantasies, I'm sure they're nothing to worry about. So long as they remain fantasies. Very true and fair enough. Leave. I wonder if I... I mean, I'm kind of thinking that if I had gone through... The, with the wisdom check, he probably would not have appreciated it because he would know what I'm trying to do. Because, you know, we're all sharing the tadpoles. And then I would lose, uh, I would get disapproval for it, so. Uh, alright. How do I get, oops. That's not where I'm trying to go. I've got turned around on my map. Very easy to do. I think that takes me out there. Yeah, it does. I don't want to go out there. I'm trying to go back down here. Yeah, I want to check out what's over here. That'll do, sort of. Asterion. This is the uh, the vampire guy, right? Hello, over here. How many companions am I allowed at once? I'm feeling like it's probably going to be the standard four, and that means I'm going to lose a soldier. Um, that said, I'm a melee fighter, she's a cleric, he's a ranged character, so we're actually pretty even out. If he's a rogue, then he's gonna <laughs> even us out a lot. I've got one of those brain things cornered. There, in the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? You mean like, the Devourer of Thought? Uh, easily, stand back. There. Can you see it? Don't push me down the hill. It's a pig, sir. Oh. Well, you're Shh. shady. Not a sound. Not if you want to keep that darling neck of yours. Hey, I have two companions who are just standing around doing nothing. No need for this to get messy. I need her alive. Stow that blade or I'll show you just how messy things can get. <laughs> promises, promises. But I have other business, I'm afraid. Now, I saw you on the ship, didn't I? Nod. Melee attack! Do it. Nice. Get out of here. You wretched little. Don't make me kill you. Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm. The light. The fear. What was that? What's going on? It's the Mind Flayer's worm. It connected us. The worm? Of course. That explains things somewhat. And to think, I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> Apologies. So, I mean, I do need a rogue in my party, but that is not the best introduction. <laughs> like, that is not going to instill any confidence in me. Uh, you'd better have more to offer than apologies. I'm out of wine and flowers, so I hope an introduction will suffice. Shadowheart disapproves. My Oof. name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. I'm in quite the state, but I think I'm cursed. A pleasure. 
So, do you know anything about these worms? Yes, unfortunately, they'll turn us into mind flayers. Turn us into... <laughs> of course it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? Although you know what I just noticed? It hasn't happened yet. He's got his vampire bite marks on his neck if we there. Can find an expert, That's a nice that detail. Control these things. There might still be time. Control it. We need to get rid of it. Well, yes, of course. But first things first. All right, just travel with me for now. Our gods are better together. I'm going to send you to the camp the moment the warrior shows up. You know, I was ready to go this alone, but maybe sticking with the herd isn't such a bad idea. And you seem like a useful person to know. All right. I accept. Lead on. As he joins your side, your mind dances with thoughts of a perfect, pretty corpse. Okay, well, I don't like that I lost approval with, uh, with what's her name? With Shadowheart over here. How do I even check these things? Uh, oops. Yeah, how do I how do I check their approval? Can't afford to stay idle. Um I was able to see it earlier. I guess it would be the character sheet. Yeah. So I gained some and then I lost some. And then the others are neutral. Okay, sure. What are you good at, Assyrian? Neutral 1, neutral 10. That's good. Because I saved her life, probably. Uh, you are good with simple weapons, various ones. You are a rogue, I believe. Yep, level 1 rogue. Fine. Also, uh, just so you know, I'm not very familiar, I think I've mentioned this before, with D&D. Uh, &D, so multi-classing and stuff is very intimidating to my puny brain. So don't expect me to make any optimal builds or anything like that, because that is unfortunately not going to happen. Because I don't know what I'm doing, basically. Might as well take a look. Oh, I just realized I'm controlling what's her name instead, Shadowheart. A dull moment. Okay, well she picked that up. Me. Maybe I should go to my inventory instead. I don't even see it in her bag. I guess it goes into like a crafting binder or whatever. Sure. Okay, we circled round, circled round. Murgrass, sure. I will say this is very reminiscent to how Divinity 2 started, because you kind of just crash landed a ship. We crashed a ship and then we ended up on a deserted island, more or less, where we're running into various um, potential party members who are also on the ship with us. Yeah. You there. Do your, do your rogue thing. You can use your thieves tools to pick a lock or you can find its key. Be warned, your thieves tools will break on a failed attempt. Lock pick. Uh, he's got a pretty good ro chance of winning this, right? Guidance to every rule. Actually. Okay, well that was a waste I think, but it's fine. Nice. Leather helmet, dex saving throws. I'm a dex character. I hope this doesn't ruin my hair. I get the feeling it will. Not proficient. Uh, using this armor will increase your armor class, but your lack of training will give you a disadvantage on some rolls and stop you from casting spells. Oh. What rolls though? Like what's what's the issue here? Yeah, that doesn't tell me what I'm gonna lose rolls on, so I'm gonna put this away. Actually it dropped my armor class, yeah. Putting this on actually drops it, so fair enough. 
Then I will give it to my resident cleric, because I would rather have my healer be alive than not. Oh, she's already wearing something. Just a circlet. No additional protection. Okay, sure, that'll do. I mean, the circlet's cute and all, but I'd rather have you have more armor. Actually, this doesn't give you anything. Dexterity saving throws only. Fine, I'll give it to this guy. No time to die. How delicious. Good enough. Uh Let's move. Very well. And yes, I know I am still banking that uh I am still banking that saved level up, I know. Actually, there's a few more crates here that I should probably look in the side as well. Nice. A flute. I guess that'd be for a bard if I had one. Alright, so if I get back in here... I've already looked in that chest. I've already looked in everything in here, basically. So where the hell is... The green girl. The green lady. Hmm. I mean, I know she's gonna turn up, or like she's gonna show up at some point, but hmm. Are those barricades? What are these? Might be a barricade. Can we please not run through the fire this time, please? Why, why did we stop moving? Let's go. Please auto jump over. You did not auto jump over. But they do. Okay. Well, that's a thing. So there goes half my health. I guess I should consider doing a full, uh, a long, a long nap or whatever. A long campfire. No trap disarm cool, uh, toolkit. So it's a trap of some sort. Okay. Hmm. I hear shouting up ahead. We should check it out, but be careful. They're over here, probably. I'm gonna leave it for now. I'm not done exploring. I don't want to get dragged into anything I don't want to take on yet. A short bow. Oh, hey, it's Lazelle. There she is. You think it's dangerous? Of course it's dangerous. One of them carved up Zora's whole squad. So let's leave it. And let the pop. No. We take it to the group. Broken. Must have been here a while. Alright, don't make me fight you all. Who's my... Okay, let me check real quick. Who is my... There we go. Charisma person. It's literally just Gale. Alright, Gale. You're up. If I have to persuade people, you have it's up to you. Immediately. The maze and the mess Yellow as a toad, and twice as ugly. Rude, racist. The thing's dangerous. Leave it for the goblins to kill. And if it escapes, how will you? Oh, a guest. Your skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white hot stare. Her lips don't move, yet you hear her voice. Get rid of them. Don't worry, I'll get them out of here one way or another. Your words flow to her, though you never speak them aloud. I know what grows inside you, and I know of a cure. Remember how keen she was to leave me to die in the Nautiloid? We can't trust her. Deception! Or persuasion. Ooh, persuasion proficiency, okay. Shoot the trap down. We must kill it before it harms someone, but that's going to hurt her. So let's go with the deception roll. Please add this roll to it. Go! No! Well. Well, that's no good. 
to maze. Let's no kill them. Uh, persuasion. I mean, this is what I have to do now. I accidentally skipped the dialogue earlier. He's right. No one's safe if that thing goes loose. Not even us. Damaze. Enough. Lower the trap. Ready your blade. Uh, that's not what I wanted. You've but one chance. Join me or die. Oh. Uh, that's not what I wanted. My pleasure. All right. Let's try this with the deception check, but I will actually use the inspiration this time. Yep. Uh, don't worry. Get out of here! Leave her to me! Nice. He's right. Let's go. We need to check out that blast. A blast? I could use more specifics. You didn't hear it. Shook our camp good, so we came for a look. No, I didn't hear it. Uh, I'm in dire here, uh, need of healing. What is? Where is this camp? Go. I can't fail this. I literally cannot fail this. Thank you. Northwest. Look for Nettie. Hmm. Whatever your wound, she can mend it. And be careful. There are goblin traps everywhere. Nymessa, come. I'll be careful. Enough gawking. Get me down. Now that they're out of your shot, sure. Looking okay. Good. Now I'm gonna be me again. Uh, how do I get her down? Observe and listen. You'll hear goblins before you see them. As you say. Uh, I'll take that. And that. Ashes of a dragon egg mushroom. Uh, ashes. Here you go. What do you do? It's one small... One of life's small ironies that the first step in creating an elixir of fire resistance includes burning its main ingredient. Fair enough. Okay, I assume I'm gonna have to... How am I supposed to get her down? I guess they gave me a short bow for a reason, right? That will hit her. Maybe I can have a better angle from up here. I should speak up. How do I get you down? Questionable intellect. Unsurprising. You were much nicer when we were in a combat Release situation. Me, or enjoy a future as Geich. What does Geich mean? Mind flayers. The atrocities we are becoming. Becoming? There's no hope for us, is there? I know a remedy. Release me and I will share it. Okay. Did I just get something up here or no? Was that approval or disapproval? I am not sure. Uh, Re Lazel. The tieflings have been dealt with. Lazel demanded, demanded that we release her from her cage. And the pale elf? Uh, we met a strange elf who has also been infected with a parasite. He was hostile at first, but agreed to join us when he learned we were inspected too. Oh, I can just shoot the bottom. Okay, that's fine. Your attack was resisted and the entity took half damage. Examine an entity to see its resistances. Its resistance to piercing, necrotic, fire, psychic, poison, and radiant, apparently. That's fine. That's not an issue. I'll just shoot it again. The tadpole hasn't yet scrambled all your senses. Auspicious. But the longer we wait, the more it consumes. My people possess the cure for this infection. I must find a crash. You will join me. Careful. She obviously sees your kindness as weakness. Don't let her take advantage. Uh, and what exactly is a crash? It is many things. A hatchery, a training grounds, a shelter. 
Githyanki protocol is clear. When infected with a gay tadpole, we must report to Augustil for purification. Okay. Whatever Augustil is. Uh, a simple thank you wouldn't go amiss. You may as well suggest a wyvern bow to worms. The cure I offer will suffice as thanks. Why so standoffish all of a sudden? Um. Alright, we journey together. Let's find this crash. You are full up. Dismiss your weakest warrior. Uh, wait at my camp. We can speak there. Very well. But heed my words. The Horned Ones mentioned a camp. One there, this Zoru, has seen Githyanki. A crash must be near. I must interrogate this Zoru. Our very lives depend on it. We don't need to intimidate them. Camp. Do not keep me waiting. Also, where is my camp? Uh, I guess I'll follow you, because I don't know where my camp is. Yeah, I'm like, I don't know where the camp is. Uh, where's my camp? Why are you running back and forth? Have you made up your mind yet about where our camp is? Oh, she just disappeared. I guess I just wasn't supposed to follow her. Also, this has uh, glitched out a little bit, but that's okay. I guess she'll appear when we do a long rest or something. That's fine. Can I trade out my party members then or no? And I think I'm not 100% sure who I would get rid of. Right now, my party is pretty... But not if it'll get me killed. Oh. Okay, a bunch of, uh, what are they, gnomes? Dwarves? Gnomes, I think. But yeah, as, as, I, as I was saying, my, my, my party is currently pretty balanced, next, honestly. Oops. Yeah, I'm pretty balanced as it is right now, so... Hmm. Alright, what now? I think you would do well with a bow. With the weave. Yeah, you would do well with a bow right now. Is that blood? No. All right. Uh, let's talk to these people. I haven't seen anyone but us. A quick word. It's just will. You. Not another step. Hear me. Boss. Got company up here. Oh hi. What's this then? Trying to creep around us and loot the crypt? Not happening. Or is it the ship you're after? Don't matter either way. It's ours. All of it. Uh. Monk insight. Your loud words hide fear, confusion. Looting that ship will bring you no peace. Add the bonus. Go! Oh, now a natural 20? Cool. Critical success. Well, uh, Yep. In that case, come on, you lot. No point in getting killed. Second worm gets the cheese and all. Um, second mouse gets the cheese, no? Nobody's getting any damn cheese. Now move it! Okay, well then, apparently that was just a thing. You're more cunning than you look. I thought we had a fight on our hands. Me too, but apparently not. There was some cheese. I did get cheese. Alright. This area is... Okay, so this would let me into the ruins. Cool. From the other side. Or, uh, this is, what, the upper area? Yeah, I can't get into the under... Undercroft or anything, but all right, fair enough. This is smashed. There's Can something I... underneath here. Indeed, I assume if I had enough strength, I could break through it or something. Uh, I'm just gonna take all of this. I will take that too. Better not be cursed. Uh, good point. Um, can you actually unlock this? Can you do this for me, sir? With pleasure. Oh, okay. Difficulty class is pretty low. I'll add the bonus anyway, since apparently you can cast it no matter what. Perfect.
Nice. I did not mean to go inside. Whoa, what the... Andorn. Who the hell are you? Don't think I won't smack you. Oh god. Punch him! Uh, shoot him. He fight well. Perhaps our survival isn't such a distant prospect. Who the hell are you and why did you attack me? Bandit key. Held by a bandit guarding the entrance of a cliffside chapel and leather armor. Nice. But leather armor is not something that I am able to wear. Who can actually wear this? Can you wear leather armor? Padded armor. You're already wearing padded armor. Okay. You probably can't wear armor at all. I assume. Oh, you are proficient with light armor. I'm just the only idiot who's not. Okay. So... You'll equip that, right? Ooh. Well, he looks pretty silly wearing this, but, I mean, more defense, right? Can't complain. Alright, let's go back outside. I wasn't expecting to get in a fight. I want to finish exploring what's out here before I do anything else. Best be on my way. Indeed. Um, this doesn't seem to actually lead anywhere. Nothing to get from that. Wooden crates. Nothing in it. What's out on the cliffside? I think I can go down this, right? Yeah, I can. Something's out here. There's definitely something out here. Not Survival much. failed. No use digging with my bare hands. I need a shovel. Might be useful. Ashes of balsam. Um, these partially burned balsam leaves exude a smoky, sweet fragrance. Lovely. Uh, I'm going to need to find myself a shovel. I don't think I've found one yet. Let's see what this does. That looks like a trap door. It's locked and I don't have any... Should be easy. Oh, I do have it. Difficulty class 20, though. So this will break and waste it. Level 20 DC? That's not gonna happen. No, it's not worth it. How am I supposed to win this? I should find the key for this. Oops. Huh. Maybe I should have accepted the level up and just got the free HP. Additional key point, unarmored movement, patient defense, class actions. Double, step of the wind, dash. Double your movement speed, jump no longer it requires a bonus action. Step of the wind, disengage, retreat to sta safety by disengaging. Jump no longer requires a bonus action, patient defense. Attack rolls against you have disadvantage and you have advantage, advantage on dexterity saving throws, okay. I should have just done that. What the hell? I am a, an idiot. Alright, take the free HP and bonuses. Just take them all. Channel divinity charges. You gain the ability to channel divine energy starting with two effects. Turn undead and an effect determined by your domain. Replenish by short or long rest. Turn undead. Pray to turn all undead that can see you. Sure. Invoke duplicity. Distract your enemies with an illusion. Within three meters of the illusion, attack rolls have advantage for you and your allies. Actually, that sounds pretty good. Thank you. Uh, you may as well level up as well. Nice. Uh, level one spell slot. Evocation Savant. Learning evocation spells from scrolls costs half as much, becoming 25 gold pieces per spell level. Sculpt spells. Create pockets of safety within your evocation spells. Allies automatically succeed their saving throws against these spells and take no damage from them. And he's gained two spells that I have to select. Oh dear. 
It's time for me to start failing horribly because I don't know what's good and what's not. Um. Hmm. So turn him to turn him into like an actual damage dealer, or turn him into a CC CC bot. That's a that's a real question. I think. I'm thinking I can turn him into a damage dealer because he's an int character, right? Chance to hit, yeah. Burning hands that requires me to be in melee range, which is bad. Find familiar, ice knife. I kind of want that. I kind of want magic missile and ice knife. I don't know if this, if this is a good idea or not. Okay, so we all leveled up, except for you. Okay, so now he can hide, dash, disengage. Good enough. Right. Okay. Curse to put my hands on everything. Um. So there's just just this area left that's like completely in the dark. So I'm thinking, look at this and then go back into the ruin. Um. I guess it's probably this area that's dark. Rogue's morsel. The hell? Oh, it's probably just a mushroom. Yeah. Salts of Rogue's Morsel. Created using the dried gills of the Rogue's Morsel Mushroom, this powder smells surprisingly sweet. I don't know what it does, though. Okay, that's pretty much everything here. So in that case, I will go back inside, find out what the hell's going on. Um... And we'll work, we'll figure it, we'll, we'll work on it from there, pretty much. Chapel entrance, yes, yes. Part of me kind of wishes I did the fight. Because if I did the fight, I would have had, you know, free experience or something, more or less. Although I'm not sure how much experience I gained for winning that, uh, winning that persuasion as well. But, I don't know, we'll find out. All right, what have we gotten here? Lots of loot. No more prayers, only dust and silence. Use a light source like a torch or the light spell to see in the dark. Creatures Who with dark vision from? don't need an external light source. Normally, the patron god is obvious, not here. Well, I'm a dark elf. Sorry, I'm a drow, so I don't need vision. But this is fine. Cutting board. I just picked it up for no reason. Lovely. Ancient, indecipherable text covers the plaque. You're an intelligent man. Whoever worshipped here must be long gone. Ancient, indecipherable text covers the plaque. Dead tongue. Whoever worshipped here must be long gone. Alright, fair enough. I thought he might be able to decipher it or something since he's the intelligence man. Don't waste a step. I'm the intelligence failure. I'm just here for the dex rolls and the wisdom. Uh, I'll take the cheese wedge. What's inside? This is all worth money, so that's fine. I'll take it all. Uh, I'll take the wheel. The sausages. Yeah, I wish I had a bag of holding too, frankly. I'll take that. Where's the cheese wedge? Uh, sure, I'll take that too. Carafe of wine. Carafe of water. Probably will be effective. Ooh, loot. Not that good. Alright. And then I can loot for the shells as well. These plates are worthless. This bowl is worthless. Nothing up here. Nothing here. I'll take the water. Uh, I ended up climbing... <laughs> climbing the box. Okay. Candles. Do I need those? Not particularly. Okay. 
pull the lever. Presumably this will open the door. Very good. That looks explosive. How'd you get past Andor? Back off! It involved a little bit of murder. Yikes. Alright, I'ma come smack you. No? I'm too far away? Not enough resources. Okay. Shooter. Nice. Okay. Uh, can't you just throw a firebolt? Okay. You can run up as well. Uh, what happened to my actual spells? Bonus action. I guess he needs to rest before he can prepare the spells. I assume that's what happens. Ooh, Grease. I know that thing is OP as hell from Pathfinder. Um, alright. Uh, Firebolt, to you as well. Hiya! No! Okay. I don't want to walk near that because she's gonna blow me up with it. Okay. Poison. Lovely. Do it. Nice. You're still poisoned. Oh, she's got saved from poison. That's good. Uh, hmm. -mm. Mari, Something let me loot you. You had random stuff that I will take all of. I'll take that as well. Thank you. Maybe I need more pockets. Maybe I do. All right. Book of Final Breath. I assume that's uh some sort of ritual I need to do, or... Oh, Alright. Dense rows of scrawled text. A few legible entries seem to detail the names and final words of numerous individuals. Come see this. It's move. Mage Pinner. Laboratory explosion. Hmm? Hroth Crest. Waylaid in a Neverwinter Alley. You're blocking my light. Donna Ree. Watered Haven. Featherlung. I don't know what that means. I assume if you knew what that meant... No traps, please. You might find it funny. Ancient scroll. Containing what remains of an ancient ritual. Okay, can I read this? Through a bloom of mold... Uh, though a bloom of mold has reached the ink for most of its scroll, its beginnings are still legible. The sealing ritual. Our god cares not for petty ritual. There is only the sealing, and it is vital that we observe it with exacting reverence. On the day of the sealing, mixture of bone and ash is consecrated. Upon the names of the dead, we spread the offering, imbuing the ink with the essence of death of our god. Okay. Interesting. I'm gonna do another quick save before we poke our head through here. Nothing. Okay, so this is just where they were chilling, or where they were sleeping. I'm surprised there are no traps in here. Pile of books. A brimmed hat! A wizardly hat has a little embroidered rabbit inside his lining. The rabbit is called Snowball, and once he was lost and never to be found. Did I hear someone talking just now? Alright, well, you are basically a wizard, right? You may as well wear the wizard hat. It's kind of a given, right? Kind of mandatory for you? Yeah. Gandalf. A wizard Obi-Wan. Homely clothes versus road dust gray clothes. I will equip that, but I don't even see it. Toggle armor set. Oh, there you go. So this would be my casual outfit, I guess, more or less. 
I actually quite like this. Yeah, I quite like that look. Um, casual sandals versus tasteful boots. Okay. Ooh. The. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I'll check that out. Definitely some people still chill, uh, talking around in the background. The guild seal on the inside of the cover belongs to the print making collective in Baldur's Gate. Of course I remember. Knew the second that girl was walking that she'd be in trouble. Little thief always in everyone's business, and that ward of Gorion went right along with her. No surprise a wicked god's blood was running in their veins. Anonymous, Candlekeep. Saravok and his lot are always the first ones that come to mind. You know, this all started with a bit of iron in Nashville. Everyone thought their weapons would rot outside their hands. Oh, out of their hands. Back then, I thought the problem was bad trade. Never took the man for a son of Baal. Amnian mercenary interviewed on his deathbed. You dare speak that name to me? My mistress was turned to ash fighting those forg uh, forsaken wretches. I curse Baal, I curse Arinicus, and I curse you. Hostile vampire, Athlac Athcatla slums. The five tore Tethyr to pieces. I don't think anyone expected more ball spawn showing up would fix the war that a pack of them started. Then again, they were all inclined to killing each other, eh? Good riddance. Here's hoping every last one of them has been wiped off the face of Farron. Saradush Merchant, retired. I'm not authorized to be talking about any murder with someone like you. Take it up to at the Sea Tower if you want to argue, but honestly, who cares if a ball spawn got it stuck to them? Their father's the killing type, after all. Flaming Fist Gauntlet, Baldur's Gate. Several hundred more interviews follow, most of them terse. And this is the Mortal View, eyewitness accounts of the Ballspawn Crisis. Okay. Uh, there's a mirror up here. No harm reflecting on one's appearance. Fair enough. Thank you. One gold, lovely. Can I move this around? I'm not strong enough to move this around, am I? To find a way forward. I'll give it Oof. a shot. That's okay, we found a way. No lock? No handle? How does it open? No lock, really. Don't touch me. Lock picking isn't possible. I can attack it. Zero because it's sturdy. Got a long road ahead. Also, is durability a thing on these weapons? Because it was vaguely a thing in uh, Divinity. Apparently not. Alright, fine. So there is a quest for this. Investigate the ruins. Yeah, there's a door that doesn't open. Uh, find Zoro with a Githyanki warrior. Mm. Okay. I still need to figure out how the camp stuff works, but I haven't actually done camping yet. Uh oh. This is probably bad. And I have no real way of uh, trapping these people. Do it! Missed! Fantastic. Oops. Uh, patient defense. And I'll end my turn. Cold grip. Hamstring him, please. Okay. The last board is set. Uh. Mage armor, really? That's good. Oh, I can do that on myself and boost my defense like impressively high. That's good stuff right there, because I don't I don't actually wear armor. Okay. Ow. Okay, it, it failed, so that's good. Uh, please help me. Cure wounds, healing word. 
Can I cure a down person? Is that a thing I can do? Sort of, okay. This is probably very ill-advised. I'm probably very screwed. Am I locked down or something? Well, so much for peace. Am I suffering from a status effect? Is there a reason why I can't move? Is it because of the ice? It's probably because of the ice. Close the door. Drink a potion. And end my turn. Uh... They hide. Bit them. I'll wait what here. I can protect myself as well, apparently. Oh, but I'm wearing armor right now. Okay, I see. Uh... I would cast something, but actually, I can't get through the door anymore. Right here. Nice, and it, and it reacts with the fire. Good, 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 good. I like that. Ow. Okay, we're in danger. Hmm. We are in danger. I think I should load. Uh, so maybe I should do a full rest before going into this room. That's probably for the best that I do that. Okay, so... Let's do... go to camp. Oh, like I should actually go to a camp. Oh. Camp. General tutorial. At your camp, you can take a long rest and fully heal your party. You can also manage party members, advance relationships with your companions, store items, and eventually change your character and recruit more followers. Interesting. So now I can do, like, camp conversations with people. Alright. Um, actually, I'm going to look into that next episode. I hope that you enjoyed what you saw here today and that you're doing well wherever you are. This has been Karst with Baldur's Gate 3. Have a great day, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye